How various soldering irons can make or break manual bonding jobs. 30 watts, slightly curved bit. As you watch, look out for which one of the irons featured is safest to use. See how cured ACF on the cough doesn't allow solder readily bind to the tracks? Because the bit is rounded on its sides, it generally takes more time to get solder onto the cough, as cured ACF isn't easily removed. Forty watts flat-sided tip. What difference would this make? This iron has some advantage, more heat and scraper tip. Apart from being hotter, the bit does a good job of scraping cured ACF off of the driver. With an iron like this one, we can quickly get solder onto a cough. But there's always a catch, which is shown later in the video. Same iron, working on a fresh cough. The 60 watt iron that's not as hot as anticipated. We also use a fresh cough for this one. Even with its pointy, unaltered bit, it performs better than the 30 watt iron. Now let's attempt a proper job using flux. Using the 40 watt iron. It's important to bear in mind that all coughs don't have the same heat tolerance. So if some part of a cough doesn't seem to be accepting solder, check to see why. This part shows why we would never use a 100 watt iron on a cough. When too much heat and friction converge on a driver, this is what happens. When using irons with a flat-sided bit with this much heat, do not prolong soldering as the tracks can be cleaned off. Take a closer look. This is nearly ruined. It's going to be harder to bond it to PCB.
Now let's see how the irons handle PCB soldering. Whoa! Tracks are being uprooted. This is what happens when there's a combination of too much heat and pressure, using this bit type. If this happens to you, better to use another PCB. But using the 30 watt iron with slightly curved bit, no damage occurs. This bit and its temperature is probably the safest depending on the situation. After all said and done, here's our verdict. Forty watts with this tip can help to achieve quick results, but needs extra care to use. Thirty watts with the bent bit is the safest, but that also depends on the user. Depending on the quality, a sixty watt iron may be too hot for coughs, and this one hundred watts is an overkill. Finally, note that the quality of bit used can have a big impact on the temperature generated. Extra tip on how to flatten a tip. You can use a file.